Right, this is part two of of um, applying new textures to your F, your models for UDK. This is part. This is the second part where you export the model into UDK. It's actually called importing model into UDK. So, in, to import the model into UDK, you've got to import this FBX file that I've made, which is that one, that's saved amongst me textures. It's got to be amongst your textures when you when you save it out of 3ds Max. So I'll go to UDK on my map. Now I want to import it. So to get to me content, I've got to bring me content editor up and that's that little black button there. That's my content browser. So click all assets just to make sure it's in its default thing. Click import down here. And then I go to my file, which is on my desktop. It's in the Afro Hut folder. Where the hell's that? There. Right now, Hut Light Cane, I think that's the one. Yep. That I click on the FBX file that I made and click open. Now this is the import menu. I give the package a name. Um, I'll just name it display. Tut for tutorial and usually you give it a group name but I won't give this a group because it's all it's just the one model I'm uploading um, now that's the model name there that's the FBX file name just there now what you do here make sure you've got override full name ticked Import mesh lods is optional, I think I favour it anyway. And import tangents ticked. Um, skeletal mesh, it's not a, a skeletal mesh is for your character, that's for your soldier. So this ain't a skeletal mesh, so I have everything unticked there. This is just a static mesh model. So I have combined meshes ticked, because that'll what this combined meshes does means the roof and the and the walls will all be one part um, and materials import these are options to import with it import options so materials I'd have I'd have import materials ticked and import textures ticked now you'll find when I do this, it doesn't import the black opacity texture map into UDK. You've got to import that separately for some reason on this particular model. Um, so once you've got that all set, just click OK. Don't click OK to all, just click OK. Uh, yep, just ignore that. Right, now, there's my static mesh, non-collision model. Now, um, to get the collision good on this, what you do is you get up here and you, you make that dynamic if you're using DirectX 11. Um, and you take off simple box collision, simple line collision and I think you take off simple rigid oh, I'll leave simple rigid body collision on, I can't remember to leave it on or off, I'll show it to you when I go to walk into the walls in a bit um, alright, once you've done that just close that for the moment um, now there's a these are the textures, that's the texture for the wall. Now you've got to, usually sometimes if you don't import the 
if you don't let it create the materials automatically, you gotta go, you gotta right click on the material texture, sorry, and create ma new material with it there. But this has already imported the tech materials for the for these two textures which are up here. Now that material there when you double click on it will bring up a material editor. Here it is down here. Now these things here, you click on them and you can hold control down and then left click and drag it across so you can see them. Same with that one. Left click and then control and then left click again, drag across. They're all linked, ready to go on that one. So I can close that. Normally you'd press the tick key to apply it to the static mesh when you've finished editing the textures. Um, yeah, I'll just, no, I don't need to make any changes. Um, now, see how the roof is not, is not invisible where those white bits of the static mesh are? Right, now what we're going to do is make that invisible. So, to do that, I've got to import my other texture that I was telling you about that doesn't always import with this. So, I want the black opacity texture, so I go to import again. And I want the roof par one, that's the black opacity. There it is. Click on that, open. And you want, where it says, that's already done up there because it's saved, it's into the same package. Um, you want alpha to opacity. Oh no, and I'll leave that and I'll show you what to do manually later. But blending, you'll have to have blend mast. Let's change that blend thing there to mast. And down here you want this to two-sided. Tick that. Click OK and then it's imported into there. Now, to get this into that roof, we've got to we've got to send it into this new material up here. Cuz they're supposed to go together. So, you double click on that material for the roof. Fix these things. Oh, they can stay there. Yeah, I'll fix these up. Right. Now, diffuse is the texture itself. The main main texture color. So, you've got diffuse. You link the black one. Now, opacity. Alpha is that little white node. And opacity is invisibility. And opacity mask means you want it part of it invisible and some of it not. So we'll be going to opacity mask, but to do that I'll just minimize my content menu. Uh, where'd that go? Ah, oh, shit. Whoops. Ah, oh, for slope, folks. <laughs> now, left click on the texture that you want to drag in there and just hold the left click down, drag it across and there it is. Then all you got to do is click that little white thing there and put it onto opacity mask. I think that's the right way. Now, after you've done that, click the tick up there to apply it. Oh shit, hang on, sorry. Um, see where it says here material turn blend mode where it says blend to peak put that to blend mast and have that two sided put a tick there where it's got to be two sided that's all you got to do and then you click apply and once that's applied it should take effect on the static mesh Maybe I've got to load the static mesh as well. I haven't done this type of thing for a while. The invisibility on the roof. 
Uh, is that loaded? Package not saved. Oh. It should be loaded. No. I've done it wrong. It must be the other one. Um, to break link, just right click and go to break link. Um, that goes to opacity mask. I can't remember. Sometimes it's this white one you use that are to go to opacity mask. Actually, I think it was the white one on that goes to it. Let me have a look. Right, that done it. Yep, that was right. I had it the wrong way around. Yep. On some texture files that have already got this black thing in and added to the already added to the material, you'd get that white one off the material and you go to opacity mask. But because this is separate, you drag the diffuse into the opacity mask. And then you click apply. Alright. Now you can see that thing's ready now. Now just click on the space in the on the ground there. And I'll right click and I'll go to add static mesh and the name of the static mesh is display hut hut light cane it's got the package name as well as the as the file name All right now I'll show you how to get collision on it I'll just double check uh, right, play from here Right, that hut's a bit out of scale, it needs enlarging a bit, but you can see the invisible bits are all there. So I did have the thing set right on it. Hey. Alright, I'll get out of that. Now to get the collision like that, I can close that. I had to click on this, on the static mesh, and I'd go up here, and where it says use simple box collision and use line collision just untick them leave simple rigid body collision ticked sometimes you've got to have that unticked as well if you've got trees so that you can if you've got plants I mean so that you can walk through the plants but they still have a bit of collision so when you're shooting them they block the shoot All right, that's the end of part two thank god <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll have some more videos shortly.